High atop the backbone of the United States, the high country, the continental divide, is blessed each winter with an abundance of nature's finest pauno. Winter comes early to the high country. November to June is snow, sun, and ski time, making winter here fun time, USA. Plays combine the convenience of the city with the hospitality, comradeship, and friendliness known to those who ski. Speaking of friendliness, skiers have a way of getting together when it comes to an occasion. The occasion? Of course, they're celebrating the final day of skiing here at Arapahoe, June 4th. And why shouldn't they celebrate? It was the greatest winter season yet. Why, just one week ago was the third annual ski yachting race held jointly on Lake Dillon and the slopes of Arapahoe Basin. They hauled in the sail bags and stretch pants, skis and boat trailers as 60 entries from a dozen states test their boat handling prowess in the first half of this combined yachting and skiing race. Since seven classes were represented in the sailing competition, an overall sailing champion was determined by taking the seven winners and having them all compete in one type of boat. Altitude, 9,150 feet. Air temperature, 70 degrees. Water temperature, 38 degrees. Wind, calm. A squall builds over the Gore Range and moves on to the lake. The wind increases to 15 knots, then 20, seeming to come from every direction, testing skippers and crew's alertness, and at times unforgiving for a few. First leg of the course, 65 minutes. Egg, 15 minutes. Third, 10 minutes. So for next year, the word is out. Wetsuits and suntan lotion. Now to de-rig the boats and move up to the Arapahoe ski slopes, where boom vangs are traded for ski wax and neck shoes for ski boots. Ski bobs are provided for the non-skiing sailor who would challenge the 25-gate slalom course. So it's hoist the rudder, cast off the poop deck, and scuttle the porthole as sailors turn skiers to have it out for the last half of this two-way event. were side by side, pitting captain and crew simultaneously. Scheffler demonstrates the ease by which a non-skiing sailor should negotiate the course on a ski bob. Overall winner in both events and ski meister is Jim McKenzie. Springtime is ski touring time, climbing off into remote and wilderness areas seen and experienced by few, especially in winter. During warm spring days and cold nights, the snow sets up to form a hard crust. With the light fall of spring powder, new horizons are opened to those who dare to venture off to experience the beauty of nature and the freedom in skiing seemingly endless, untracked vistas.
500 skiers tour from Arapaho each year, accompanied by experienced tour guides and a member of the ski patrol. Six different full day and half day tours are being conducted, with 12 additional areas already explored and awaiting the skier to make tracks in virgin snow fields unmatched anywhere in the world. Slalom is underway. Two parallel courses are set to allow a skier to challenge his closest competitor in an all out, no holes barred showdown. Times are recorded during the grudge race to determine the overall winners. Gene Saubert, double Olympic medal winner, serves as a timer. Also at the finish line is Rick Chaffee, a member of the U.S. Olympic team. While starting the race is teammate Dennis McCoy. Another Olympic skier shows all out form in winning this year's race. He's Terry Overland, member of the Norwegian team. Terry celebrates his victory now. For his winner this year, he will have to present the race next year. Hundred students participate in this program, which teaches courtesy and safety along with skiing. Numbers are assigned at the beginning of the day in the Jets own headquarters building. Filled with anticipation, these future Olympic champions put on their skis and assemble in classes. The program is conducted under Willie's watchful eye, incorporating his personal philosophy of teaching, so important in getting the kids off. On Fifteen pupils are assigned to each instructor. An adult ski aide in each class keeps track of stragglers or others with equipment troubles and in a general way fills a mother-father function. The ski aide allows the instructor to concentrate on teaching. Classes are held both in the morning and afternoon. They range from At the end of the 10-week instruction period, the advanced pupils compete in a race staged for their parents. The race is for real, and the kids go all out to provide all the drama and excitement associated with any world or Olympic competition. The students showing the most skiing potential at the end of the regular 10 week period are then invited to continue their instructions in more advanced classes in the spring. Meanwhile, back at the ranch lodge, a couple of spooky characters have been lurking around. They don't seem to be here now. Not here. There they are, crashing the lift line. 
Those bad guys are stepping all over the good guy's skis. Willie, observing this dastardly breach of courtesy, quick, the snowcat pressed into action will head them off at the pass. And partner, the posse will go that away. Those two kooky characters have been taking notes all week long on the restaurant, the ski school, lift operations, ski runs, and snow conditions. Must be trying to find the key to Arapaho's most successful year. Well, we'll just have to have a showdown. If only we can pick up their trail. Eight ski lifts and 24 wide open runs will take all the experience our posse can muster. Hmm, the trail's getting hot. There they go. This is mighty big country, partner. We might be on the trail all day to bring in those two hombres. can't be far away now. Aha, Russian agents, just as we suspected. Gee, and one of the bad guys was wearing a white hat. Well, no matter how many notes they've taken, they'll never duplicate Arapaho's success in Russia. Over the cliff, you villains! Uh, which reminds us, folks, don't forget to cover your sits marks. This reminder from your National Ski Patrol. Willie Scheffler, director of the Arapaho Basin Ski School for 19 years, was first in the United States to introduce the Austrian short swing and the Vedelin. Willie's philosophy of skiing is incorporated in his school, acquainting each pupil with the things that really are skiing, not just edge control and weight transfer. This overall approach, along with personalized instruction, personalized instruction? Man, this chick's skiing is nowheresville. But with what she has, who needs skiing? Huh? Now, if I can just steer clear of the fuzz back here out of the way, I'll have time to snow this sweet thing. Like, man, what chick in her right mind could resist old king of the mountain? Man, is she ever playing into my hands now? Why, this may be the easiest. Hello there, Mr. Scheffler. What a pleasant surprise. 
stick to the approved teaching practices even on my day off. Yes, of course, Mr. Scheffler. Well, I suppose even Romeo had a few setbacks before he climbed his ladder of success. Oh, boy, I can see it in her eyes already. This one's really wrapped up. Let's see now, a few drinks at the lodge after skiing. We'll skip the rock and roll combo and the night skiing. Candlelight and wine, steak and flaming dessert. A few after dinner toddies and oh boy, I can hardly wait to get off this mountain. Man, just look at that anticipation in those eyes. Well, this is gonna be my greatest. Hmm. Oh well, there's always next year. Yes, there's always next year. This has been a great one, but next year will be even better. So come on and join the party and all the good people that make Arapaho Basin Fun Time USA.